Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how we can easily use Privy for your Shopify. So let's start. The first thing what I'm going to do, I'll just click here add application. And I will connect it to my Shopify store. I created a new one so I can show you literally everything. So let's say that you're going to have a new store. Now I have a business name, then a phone number here, press confirm. And voila, here we go. How fast was that, right? So the first thing what you can do is go to top left and see convert, email and text, coupons and contacts. Right here on the dashboard on Privy, on the left side, you would see data as a convert revenue, signups, email revenue and cart saved. You can do uh, straight away from the dashboard to start growing your email list today or grow your sales with automated emails. What you can do also is to find it in here in convert and email and text. What we are going to do, let me share with you. The first thing what I'm going to do, I will create a contact. Then we are going to create a coupon and then I will guide you through everything here. Only because you can't really send a campaign if you're not going to have a contact. So let's start with a contact. What you can do is to add a contact, a linked account, or you can add an account manually or just uh, import it with Excel. So email Marekosaurus as Dinosaurus and Marekosaurus Stone. Click Save. Okay, so now we're gonna have a contact. First, I'm going to add a coupon. Sell a coupon to share after shop or signups. Get it started with one of the suggested coupons below or create your own. So you can simply click here and 10% off, activate the coupon and voila, straight away we have it. Or what you can do is to easily create your own. Now, title for this discount rule is going to be, I'm going to zoom in so you can see everything. Title will be free shipping. Source is going to be Shopify. Type master coupon or unique coupon. Use one code for all signups or unique coupon deliver codes that are unique to each signup. So I'm going to with a master coupon. Now code is going to be free ship as a free shipping. Discount code is going to be free shipping. And now exclude shipping rates over a certain amount. Discount requires a minimum purchase amount. So what I can do is to click here. Discount requires a minimum purchase amount. Let's go $150. So when someone is going to order something, which is going to be, which has to be minimal of $150, they can use a free ship code and apply it to all products. If you're going to have more products, you can choose it right here. Set a schedule, start at right now. And coupon code has expiration date. If it has, you just choose it again here. Now save coupon and voila, here we go. So this is how we added contact as you can see. And this is how we created coupon in no more than four minutes. What you can do uh, is to go back to Privy and you can launch your first pop-up right here. And straight away, you're going to be added uh, to the, this is a preview of how and where this will look on your site. So yeah, you can go this way or you can click all campaigns here and you would see also your first pop up here. So there are two ways how you can do it through dashboard or through convert and all campaigns. You can go to top right, click new campaign. And now you can simply choose uh, which one, which campaign you want welcome discount mobile sign up discount the cross sell free shipping bar card saver build your own so but we have the pop-up here so let's go with that design or just click on it and first form fields so we have an email you can click here edit and you can add more fields so let's say that i need to have also name first name last name required 
Okay, so we have a first name, last name and email. What you can do is to switch position between these two. Click save. Then we have validations, limit one, sign up contact. You can have also new contacts only. Automatically end the campaign after. So that's something you can do. Then you have a pop-up design, click on it. And you just have to wait for a while until it's going to load. And then you will be able to edit. If it's not going to work, we will create a new campaign where I'm going to show you how you can edit the design. And when you have it, you have coupon code here. When we go further to the next step, uh, you will have a target. Uh, what I'm going to do, I will create a new campaign where I'm going to show you the design, okay? Targeting rules, when to show. So the pop-up is going to show in 10 seconds every... So you can have like show on timer after 10 seconds or after 30 seconds, show after scrolling of 50% of the page or when someone is going to exit. And trigger automatically at most every day and again you choose other rule here and when you have it you can also have notifications here and then you have follow-up so after someone is going to sign up you're gonna like send them an email and then what you have to do is to simply publish it launch it and this is where you would find your results the signups and everything and conversion rate. So this is how it works. And this is how simple it is. And now you would go to convert and report. And you would sign up like you would see everything here. Now again, you can click here to all campaigns. And now as you can see, we got some recommended here as a card server or cross sell. I can go again with a new campaign. And we can add also new discount, the welcome discount. So what I'm going to do, I'm going for welcome discount. And I can show you also the cross sell on card saver in a really effective way. And then I will show you the email and text here. Okay. So convert, all campaign, new campaign, welcome discount. And this is really similar to the pop-up. So we got a coupon that I'm going to have a free shipping. Uh, trigger, show on timer after 10 seconds okay limit target per user every day show no more than every let's say every day that's okay targeting customers who have not signed up to my uh like subscriber list form fields email and phone i will need only email and then just click design and as you can see uh this design works at least it seems to work and now you can simply click here to templates and choose uh, multiple templates. Like which template you want to actually use for your. As a pop up, let's say this one here, choose select it or you can go with a bar. So let's say that you don't want to have a pop up. You need to, you want to have a bar uh, with a free shipping. So but you can go also with pop up. I would replace my everything. And then uh, you can edit it. You can edit the text here. So that's what you can do. Then you can also change the form, the button, the background, desktop tab, mobile tab literally everything as much as you want and edit the text here. So the process, the style is really, really similar. And here you can uh, choose a template. So that's how we can do it. And that's how we can achieve it. And straight away, you don't have to add any code or anything only because the preview is going to do it for you. Again, in all campaigns, you can simply create, click here on a new campaign and you can click here cross sell and recommended product targeting 
and now you can click here design on add a shopify product to cart choose redirect redirect page two you can change the style and again you can go to templates and find a really good template that you can use so this is how it works and this is how you can work with cross sell then with the same style with the all campaigns what you can do is go to click to new campaign and go with a free shipping bar that's really like effective or card saver and again sub coupon can be 10 percent off and trigger is going to be shown on exit intent limit triggers per user so card saver is a really great thing let's say someone is going to leave and they want to leave and you just stop them targeting customers with more than zero dollars in their card and just click design here and now you just have to wait for the loading preview and you can edit the text here and everything so yeah you can edit the buttons and yeah here we go so we can see it and now what you can do is to change the text here wait sign up button sign up you can change the font size here corner rounding and as you can see the corner rounding is changing so that's pretty good and pretty easy you can change also the background here so you can really change everything in your design and to, to change a text you just like click on it click on it again and you can change the text here and then just click save and you're good to go and then you have a follow-up save uh sends immediately after sign up and this is how you can do it so the next thing what i want to show you is how you can create a modern card and this is really simple so first thing first you can add a logo required to continue the next step i'm going to use this photo and i have a logo you need to send a brand color again which is your brand color just use it like this you need to choose a font and you can add social accounts when you're gonna have it you need to press continue and you need to add address industry or in reply to email optional you don't have to have it but if you have it you can do it press continue we have created your first email for you most people activate this right away uh, it is our top performer on average 70 percent of cards are abundant turn this automation on to recover those sales and now you can turn off the other platform emails and you can customize it in settings so when you would come here to shopify let me show you how you can do it login and now let's go step by step by this settings now i would just click on check out and find abundant you should see right somewhere here i don't see it right here uh, so you should see uh, automatically send I'm going to check out emails. But I don't see it, so probably you will. If you see it somewhere here, just sign it up. And now uh, what you need to do is let's go back. Uh, set your subject line. You left something behind or did you forget something? then send a test email to yourself and activate your campaign so activate 
and now we got it right and this is how we do it then you see a data here and you can simply edit the settings minimum card value is going to be one a value of one when currency use the corresponds to one dollar and you can also disable it if it doesn't contain and then you can also have a coupon code so this is how it works what you can do is to go also the customer win back but i'm not going to into it that much if you want i can create a tutorial on that too like you would send them reminder and then purchase follow-up or newsletter and this is really simple only because you can uh, build up your own email so you can use blocks here you can use content and really edit it as much as you want and you can achieve a lot with it so that's pretty much it how we can play around it you can send us emails and then what you can do is to choose a template click save design to coupon code and to which contacts you want to send it to and then you would like schedule it or just send it and this is how the newsletter works and purchase follow-up is also really simple get started so when someone is going to order a place uh, you can send them another email where you're gonna offer them discount or you can all offer them another product and that's also what you can achieve and what you can do so thank you very much guys for watching if you have any questions ask me down below in comments i'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and have a great day and goodbye see ya